when Hurricane Ian rammed into the southwest coast of Florida, the barrier islands off Fort Myers and Cape Coral, Pine Island, Captiva and Sanibel, took the brunt of the damage. The 155 miles per hour winds peeled roofs off homes and snapped telephone poles in half. The storm surge did the rest of the damage. It lifted boats, carrying them out of their docks and dropping them when it retreated. It ripped toilets out of tile floors, sucked doors out of their frames, busted through walls and windows. In its wake, everything it had touched turned to trash, thanks to the sewage its world. Hurricane Ian vs Hurricane Charlie, Ian potentially catastrophic for Florida, forecasters say Hurricane Ian aftermath, historic fishing village Mont Lacha before, after images in the wake of the Category 4 storm, with the bridge to Mont Lacha and Pine Island out, rumors abounded about the state of Pine Island. Many issued evacuation, opting to stay with their homes and in their community instead. While the hurricane itself did terrible damage to structures on the island, the outpouring of support from neighbors on the island has been heartwarming. Pine Islanders have lent trucks to evacuation efforts, spent days clearing the roads, and offered food and shelter to anyone on the island in need of help. They've spent their own time and money helping their neighbors, and they say they won't stop until everyone is secure. Reporters and photographers with the News Press slash Naples Daily News, part of the USA Today Network, hitched rides out to Pine Island on the back of jet skis run by Chris Gerber and his girlfriend Linda Shilkovsky. Pine Island is about 40 square miles, and home to about 8, 500 people, according to the census. About half of those residents are age 65 and older, many don't have cars, preferring instead to travel by golf cart. The potential for loss to the island was high. The ride out was bumpy. Gerber wasn't sure what he'd find on Pine Island, although he'd been there before. He was hoping to bring water to people who needed it and offer rides back on his jet skis to anyone else who might want to return to the mainland, where power is slowly coming back on and water is running, albeit with a boil notice. He pointed out damage along the way, a missing roof, a collapsed seawall, a sailboat called Journey with the words not abandoned graffitied in black spray paint on the side. A favorite watering hole, Burt's, is gone as well, and Island Pho, a Vietnamese soup spot that Gerber loved, is in sorry shape. The road just before the bridge to Pine Island has washed out. There's nothing but sewage and particle-filled water there now. That, and a makeshift bridge someone had cleverly constructed out of a ladder and plywood, 